Hi, so I'm from Mark Roy's Motion Control and uh, we get asked a lot of questions about our small heads, particularly the SFH30 head. So I thought I'd start these online video clips to give you some answers. If you have any other questions, please let us know. We're going to do a number of these to explain about the different accessories and different controllers and different options that exist for all our different heads. So the SFH30 head um, is a very compact and sturdy head. Uh, it's designed to take up to about 15 kilos, which is about 30 pounds. So you could put an Epic or an Alexa on it or any DSLR with a, even a large zoom lens. Um, what differentiates it from other heads is the precision. And it has precision gearboxes in it so that uh, they have zero backlash, which basically means that all the axes, the pan and tilt, are, have no play in them. They are completely sturdy. So you can do the same move over and over, and it will match perfectly. You can move to any position, and it will always go back to the same position. Um, and that really is what makes this such a good head. It gets used for everything from precision motion control, macro work, live action, time lapse, um, even high speed sometimes, um, or sports even. So this is the head. Uh, it weighs about five and a half kilos, which is 11 pounds. So it's pretty lightweight um, and has a fantastic payload. Um, the controller for it is one of these. So this is uh, what we call a, um, a four axis controller, so four motors. We also do ones with more. Um, and I'll come a bit closer. What you'll see are four motor ports. Uh, we also have uh, the power port coming in, power connection. There's a serial connection, which is for connecting to some of our other controllers, like a joystick controller or a set of pan bars. Um, there is also uh, a trigger connection, which is for uh, triggering the camera. So you can take a frame or start record. And on the other side, there's a network connection. This is a standard Ethernet connection. And in this case, that's how I'm controlling it from a laptop, using that connection. It just plugs in here into the standard laptop connection on, on, the, uh, on the network adapter. OK. So um, this is Flare. It's our standard uh, industry software for all, our, all motion control systems. So whether it's 30 axes of motion or one axis of motion, it has every single feature you could possibly need for any type of control of motors. Um, as an example, uh, we have here four axes, so pan, tilt, in fact my zoom and focus are not con connected, and my track. And I can move them just using my left and right mouse buttons. So using my left and right mouse buttons I can control the pan, the tilt, and my track. Okay? And to put in a simple move, is very straightforward. If I want this to be my start position, I just stall that. Okay, and here's my first position. And then I add a line. I move it to my next position. So let's say I want it to pan around, tilt up a bit, and track up, track up, other way. And I stall this as my next position. And this is now a simple two point move. Um, if I want to run it, I just press forward run. It will go to the beginning, and then I press shoot, and away it goes. Okay, I can drag it to any frame. Let's say I want to drag it to frame 48, and that's where it would be at frame 48. I can look at the curves additionally. So for example, this is my curve, this is what it looks like. Uh, I can add positions, I can edit the curves. The red line here shows where I am currently. So I'm frame 48. Um, I can add a line. So for example, if I want this to make, make a, a third point, uh, I just add another position. And so I want it to be there. And I want it to tilt up a bit more and pan round. So I'm going to add a line and store this new position. And if I run that, it's going to go and shoot. So this is now my move. Uh, I can also uh, do it in time lapse. 
So for example, I can go view, time lapse, and down here, I can say, uh, I can set up my time lapse exactly the way I want. So let's say I want to have a half a second exposure, and I want it to be two second time lapse, so two seconds between frames. It already knows that this has 200 frames, um, and if I now run that, I'm going to say I'm going to run it from frame 40. I don't actually want it to start from the beginning. So I've typed in 40. I'm going to change this to frame 50. I want it to start from frame 50. So I go run move. So it'll go to the beginning. And then I go right, start. And that's it now taking a frame every two seconds. And you can see, or you can even hear the camera taking a frame every two seconds. So this is going to be all for this video demonstration. Um, if you'd like to know any more, please let us know, and we plan to do a lot more of these. Thank you.